Hello beautiful people. So today we're going to be making a super quick and easy vegan stir fry. I got all my ingredients from Trader Joe's, but you can find your local farmer's market or anywhere where you like to shop. I just prefer Trader Joe's. But we're starting off with boiling some water for our rice. And then we're going to take another pan and heat up some oil because we're going to be frying our tofu. So now that the water is nice and boiled, we're going to pour in some rice. Don't be like me, I completely forgot to rinse the rice. Um, <laughs> this is how you know I was hungry, y'all. I was just like, you know what, I need to eat. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you rinse that rice. So for the tofu, I'm using firm tofu, and I don't have a tofu presser, but I really, it really doesn't matter in my opinion, I don't think you need one. Um, what I am going to do is just press it with a clean cloth. I did pour out all the water first in the sink, just to get rid of all the water that comes in the container. You just want to pat it a little bit like this to kind of get rid of most of the moisture. And this works just fine. Honestly, I don't think you need a tofu presser. So instead of cutting the tofu into squares with a knife, I'm going to be ripping them because I feel like the texture helps the cornstarch and all the other seasonings stick to the tofu better than having perfect squares. So this is my preferred method, but you can do it works for you. Um, I just also feel like this is even quicker too than using a knife and less dishes. So there's so many benefits to ripping your tofu instead of cutting it. First ingredient is the cornstarch, of course. This is what's gonna give the tofu that nice crunchy bite. I added two scoops of the cornstarch. I'm gonna use onion powder, black pepper, and this amazing wood fire garlic seasoning. I put this on everything, no exaggeration. Now to mix the seasonings, with the tofu to keep them from breaking I am pouring them in the bag and I'm gonna toss the bag gently just like this this is so much easier than trying to use a spoon to mix the tofu it keeps them in the nice perfect pieces that we have and it coats the tofu evenly so now that the oil is nice and ready, we're just going to pop some tofu pieces in the pan and we're going to keep them a decent distance apart from each other so they don't stick together. And then you're going to leave it in the pan for I would say three to four to five minutes. I just normally eye it to see if it's turning a golden brown and then when it's turned a golden brown, I flip it. When your tofu looks like this color, this is how you know it's ready to be flipped. It's like that perfect golden brown. So delicious. Now we got all of our tofu pieces nice and fried up. We're gonna sit it aside and prepare for the vegetables. So we're taking a bigger pan and we're gonna pour some olive oil in the pan, a decent amount. 
and this is the easiest part you just buy a container of vegetable stir fry and put it in a pan and this is going to be the sauce that we're using again trader joe's just they have everything like this is the easiest meal you can ever get like if you don't have time or you just want a quick and easy dinner do this i did season the vegetables with some salt and pepper before adding the sauce and i let them saute in the pan with the lid on top for a little while just so the vegetables can soften up a bit then when it's nice i'm going to add the sauce we're going to leave like a little bit of the sauce um in the bottle but we're going to be using the entire bottle um but we're just going to use more than half of it and then when we add the tofu we're going to pour the rest because we're going to let this sit with the sauce for a little bit with the lid on top and then come back with the tofu the reason why i don't add the tofu at the same time as the vegetables is because i want the vegetables to soften up a bit and saute and not only that if you put the tofu in for too long with the sauce it's gonna lose some of its crunch which is gonna happen anyways but you get it a lot less if you don't add the tofu too early it still has a nice bite to it um so yeah now pouring in the rest of the sauce we're gonna go ahead and mix everything together and then let that sit for just a little bit Now going in with some more seasonings, we're adding some chili powder, some more salt and pepper, and garlic, minced garlic. I'm also adding some garlic and jalapeno to add a little bit more spice. The sauce on its own isn't bad. I do like to get a, give it a little bit more kick, but this is all super quick and easy and super delicious. Definitely give it a try if you're looking for something quick, easy, and vegan. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.